Hi, my name is Kristen Lee. I'm one of the interventional radiologists practicing at Singapore General Hospital and at KK Hospital. Hi everyone, my name is Mark Wang and I am a practicing interventional radiologist at the Singapore General Hospital. As interventional radiologists, um, we are doctors who do procedures using image guidance, whether it is through um, CAT scanning, um, ultrasound scanning, um, or x-ray guidance. So first off, what is ablation? So ablation is a relatively new technology that has uh, really come into its own over the past couple of decades. Ablation involves inserting needles into various organs or parts of the patient's body. Through these needles, we can then deliver extreme heat or extreme cold, thereby eradicating tumours. The ablative technique can actually be used in a variety of um, tumours and cancers. Um, just some examples would be liver, kidney, lung, bone, even thyroid. When patients are referred to us for ablation, we will see them in clinic where we will get additional patient history to determine whether they are suitable for ablation. We will go through the existing scan results that the patient has with them before the procedure. We will also explain the details of the procedure as well as any potential risks and complications which may arise. If the patient is keen to proceed, then we will obtain signed consent from the patient. At the same time, we may send the patient for blood tests so as to ensure that they are optimized for the procedure. If the patient requires general anesthesia during the procedure, then they will also be sent to the anesthetist clinic prior to the procedure for evaluation. In our centre, liver ablations are done mostly under general anesthesia. During the procedure, we would first perform planning uh, ultrasound or CT scans of the patient to localise the tumour that we would wish to treat. After uh, determining the uh, location of the lesion, and assessing its size, we would then plan the needle trajectory and the approach into the lesion. Using a variety of imaging modalities, most commonly ultrasound and uh, CT, and now increasingly also a fusion of both ultrasound as well as the existing CT images, we would then insert the needle into the patient's body, and this is done uh, often under ultrasound where there's real-time guidance of the, of the needle path within the body. So once we have confirmed that the needle is uh, located satisfactorily within the tumour in the patient, then uh, we would start ablation. In general, after the procedure, some patients may complain of some soreness. Of course, it also depends on which body part we're working with. Um, some areas may be more sensitive than others. Um, therefore, most of the doctors will prescribe you some pain medications. And for small little tumours, um, generally, once we can do the procedure safely and there are no complications, Usually we will recommend patients to stay overnight um, for observation, you usually can go home the next day. In terms of downtime from your procedure, um, again, it really depends on the person, although we recommend maybe just taking the week off just to recuperate. So the, the efficacy of uh, ablation really depends on the lesions that we are trying to treat. Um, by and large, the smaller the lesion is, uh, in general, the more effective uh, our ablations are. Uh, for example, one of the most commonly uh, treated organs would be the liver. In the liver, uh, lesions less than 3 cm in size, we often quote uh, a curative ablation rate of uh, 85% or higher. In regards to choosing the right treatment, whether it is surgery, um, radiation, chemotherapy, or minimally invasive uh, procedures where your interventional radiologist would do, it really depends on um, the multidisciplinary discussion, meaning that you have to talk to all the doctors that are involved in your care. And of course, most importantly, is what you would like for yourself. Some patients would prefer to have the least amount of downtime as possible, where by minimally invasive procedures may be preferable. In some instances, surgery may be more advisable depending on the type of uh, disease. Um, of course, the type of complication that arises usually depends on the type of organ or the tumor that we're treating. Um, more general things that we generally are worried about as interventional radiologists are bleeding and infection, tissue injury. After ablation, the patient can expect to undergo a repeat CT or MRI scan about one to two months later, after which they will be seen in clinic by the interventional radiologist. In clinic, 
we will assess the scans together with the patient to look at the efficacy of the ablation as well as to look for any new lesions which may require further treatment.